Welcome back to FC Zelda, everyone. We're playing FC 24, and today, as you can tell by the title of the video, it's career mode. We're taking over Arsenal, uh, and the same rules apply uh, as always. We are not getting a financial takeover, as you can see right there on the screen. They've got 155 million. That is all we get. We do not get more money than that. That is we all we get. Period for the entire career mode. So we can sign players with that. We can sign coaches with that. We can do whatever we want with it. But that's all we get. Okay, here's the settings. So international job offers are off. Financial takeover. Uh, look at it, guys. It is disabled. So we're not getting any money uh, extra on top of what they already get. And let's get into this career mode. Here we go. Here we go. FC Zelda, guys. There we go. All right. So here he is. First initial press conference. He is in. All right, so we already set our tactical vision. Oh, that's not easy. Okay, so I already set our tactical vision. We're doing Gengen pressing again. And I also put that we hired one, our starter coach. So we've got a few things we need to do. We gotta do our training plan. We've got to put on development plans, and then we're gonna start simming and looking at players that we might wanna get rid of. So first, what's most important is we need to choose our starting 11 because we need to, play the best players that we have so let's go and look around here who do we have so obviously we're gonna have a midfield of roughly this um and then who do we have down here so we got anyone else hiding that's decent okay yeah timber he's he's decent he's better than kivior uh kivior is probably just gonna sit on the reserves for most of the season uh, we got Martinelli, he's probably gonna start, I'm gonna say Jesus is probably gonna start, I'm gonna say Nelson, I'm saying no, um, and I do not, I don't want Jorginho, I, I'd rather, honestly, sell Jorginho, take Partey out and make him a sub, and then play Kai Havertz instead, and play, um, Jesus, mm, I don't know, this is actually kind of hard. Oh yeah, and uh, take Tomiyasu out, put Zinchenko in, and uh, let's see, anyone else? Not really, yeah, this is not, I didn't remember the Arsenal team being like this. This is a little odd. All right, so now we've got all of our stuff, so we're just gonna put everyone on balance except for the subs, and then I'm just gonna copy that. There we go, so now all the reserves and subs are now on performance focused. Uh, which is gonna still give them a lot of energy and then the starters are all Just balanced which should work well enough. All right I'm gonna go get some development plans on these guys and I will be back in just a minute Okay, so I got development plans on everyone as you can see uh, It doesn't really matter what plan they're on but all the players that we have they are on development plans the only person that I didn't actually on put on the transfer list is like I said in the beginning Jorginho, so I added him to the transfer list uh, Which is good. I think because I don't think we really want him. All right. I'm overlooking at Kai Havertz and It looks like to try to convert him to a striker takes about 10 weeks um, I don't know if it's worth it. I do like Kai Havertz. I think Kai Havertz is good We don't need more winners. So winners are not gonna be what we want Center forward, I mean, it's kind of the same thing as attacking mid, so I think that if we could get convert him to a striker, that would be really good. So even though it's going to take about 10 weeks, I'm going to say we just go ahead and do it. So, Kai Everett, you are now going to be training to become a striker, so I hope you like that, buddy. Hopefully, you actually can be good at striker for us. And for the time that you're going to be at striker, I'm saying, honestly, just because Gabriel Jesus is not going to grow as much as... Uh, Havertz is, so I'm saying we actually don't play him, and instead we put Fabio uh, Vieira on the bench, and then Trossard can play Wayne, can play anywhere, Havertz can be our striker. I know that's gonna obviously be weird, but I think that's honestly the best option. Alright, so in terms of selling and buying people, I mean... Really our team's solid like we don't need a lot of stuff like you got these young wieners that we can bring in We got timber. We got a good decent bench. You know, I think we're actually a solid team I just don't know for sure if because I mean, we got hundred sixty one million It's like I feel like we need to at least do something. I'm gonna go hire some more coaches 
Okay, so there are like no coaches available. I found two four star, one for goalkeeping, one for midfield. Everyone else is just garbage and it's not even worth hiring them. So I'm gonna say we just sim uh, two weeks until the preseason invitation comes in and then we are going to see what's happened between then. Okay, so I declined the preseason tournament and we've got some offers here. So this guy, nah, you're, you're worthless. Uh, Walters, oh my gosh. Bruh. This is so funny. Chelsea, why do you want him back? You literally just sold him to us. Like, he, they literally are like, we'll take him back. That is so funny. And they're offering us 64 million. That's actually not bad. But, uh, no, no, I'm not getting rid of Kai Havertz. It, you, and then apparently we had a swap deal for Garnacho and 10 million ish. That is, that is garbage but I didn't ex even talk to them, so it just like broke down basically. And still no offers for Jorginho, that is, that's worrying. We need to get an offer for him. I don't want him on this team anymore. Hopefully someone will say they want him. No, you are not Jorginho. If you're not Jorginho, you're staying. Okay, so we got our first game versus, oh my goodness, Saka. No, we're not selling you to Manchester City. No, and Saka is not going to Manchester City. I would be like stabbing Arsenal in the back like a million times if I did that. I'm just gonna sim this, but we're probably gonna get killed. I mean, look at the Man City team. They've got three players that are key players. They've got Foden, Bernardo Silva, and Kyle Walker. They've got 91 offense, 86 mid, and 84 D, which I mean isn't that special, but 86 midfield is pretty good. That's elite, and then 91 attack. Holy cow, who do they have that they're playing up there? And they've got Foden, they've got Holland, who's 90 at least, and Grealish. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense. They are pretty loaded. All right, I'm just going to sim past this, and we're probably going to get killed. But this is for the Community Shield. What is the result? Oh, we won! Okay, that's a bonus. Okay, uh, Gabrielle scored, Sokka scored, and Sokka scored too. That's pretty good. We get the win. That's pretty nice. All right, Premier League is almost here so we are going to now head to the end of them we're gonna sim these first couple games head to the end of the transfer window and then we're gonna check back in uh and see how the first couple games went okay so there's two pieces of information uh technically three one tomiyasu has apparently been injured so he is now out we're just gonna sub kibior in because they can both play wing back and center back so they're both really good for that um so that's not good Jorginho still hasn't sold and I think that actually Kai Havertz is ready to be converted to a striker early right is it gonna let us do that is it I, I, th I thought it, it said it it's it, I got an email saying it was ready Wh what 17 weeks when did you say that it said 10 it literally said 10 that makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. That, oh my goodness, that is so dumb. Oh my word. Okay, so apparently now it's 17 more weeks till he becomes a striker. That's gonna be like most of the year. So it is transfer deadline day and we still have not gotten anyone. So should we sell anyone? I don't. I don't think so. I don't. I really don't think we need to. Um, our team looks decently good. And I mean, maybe maybe we sell Thomas Partey and bring in someone big to replace him. Or, here's what I'm thinking actually. Instead, we use Jorginho as a bargaining chip to sell him, and then we Thomas Partey can be our, our midfield sub, and then get someone big to finish off this awesome midfield of Odegaard, Rice, and whoever. We're thinking i'll let you guys know who i'm thinking about in just a second we'll be right back all right here he is pedri he is central midfield he is 20 years old and the price of this man is terrifying they say they want 176 million but we have a chance of around 141 this is going to take out all of our money but let's just try it and see what we can get so first i'm gonna say Let's just offer them straight up Jorginho, uh, who's only worth like 30 million. That's not going to help us that much. Let's offer him like 100 and 
and 31 plus Jorginho and see what they say. Please? And they want 140. Plus a 10% sell on clause. Okay, no sell on clause, but I can pay you 140. Can we can we agree on this? Please? Yes, we can. Let's go, guys. Alright, we got Pedri for 140 million plus Jorginho. That's crazy. <laughs> Here he is, Pedri. He is walking up to Arsenal. Let's see. Hopefully you actually help us, dude. If you just like don't help us, I'm gonna be really unhappy. So hopefully this is good. All right, here we go. Pedri plus Jorginho. Let's see what rating FC gives us. Uh, yes, he is 86 rated. Let's see what it gives us. Yeah, good squad player. Only a decent buy. They say stronger negotiation skills. Could have saved us 35 million, but this is the only guy we're gonna get, so I think it's okay that we overpaid a little bit. I don't think we're gonna do anything else for now. I think that's all that we're doing, so. We're just gonna pop a development plan on him, then we're gonna put him in the starting 11, and then we are going to sim until January, and until we get a notification that we can actually play Havertz and turn him into our actual striker. So we're gonna just sim through the rest of deadline day. Okay, I just thought I would show you the top deals around the world of football for the summer transfer window so number one is our transfer of Petri 140 million then we got 140 for Victor Ossiman then we got 136 for Frankie de Jong 96 for Goretzka 92 for Jack Grealish 87 for Yozawa Kimmich 84 for Hakimi 70 for East James 68 for Opamecano 65 for Berardi and 60 for Mendez so a pretty overall normal transfer window except for the top two the, those are just those are, well three technically those are all just like oh, so much money but now we're gonna actually sim and get to the end of the uh, first part of the season so here we go okay so we have simmed all the way to january it is january 1st 2024 so here's what we're gonna do we've got to check in real quick on kai havertz and see if i mean i'm like i'm 90 percent sure he's ready like if he's okay yes he is ready okay so now he is a striker an official striker so that's good Kai Havertz is now our striker so that's cool so now we're just gonna see what position we're in for trophies and in the league so first of all we've made it to the third round of the FA Cup so that's pretty good uh, we obviously won the community shield barely uh, we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup where, where, where did we get knocked out Oh, oh no. Okay, oh, okay. They won 4 2 on penalties. We played Newcastle. That, that's a little bit better. Uh, Premier League, we are in second place, two points behind Man City. That's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. We've got only three losses, uh, four draws, 13 wins. That's actually, I'm happy with that. And then Champions League, what are we cooking here? here? Okay, we got it. So we're in the round of 16. We made it to the round of 16. Oh my word, we topped it. We killed our group. We won every single game. Let's go, guys. Every single game. Six wins, zero draws, zero losses, 18 points. Boom. That gets us first place. So we, me, we made it. PSV made it. So we got Real Madrid, Man United, Atletico, Inter, Union Berlin, Sociedad, Latium, and us. PSV, Barca, Porto, Bayern, Leipzig, Paris, and Dortmund and City. So... Overall, pretty pretty normal. Let's check on the team and see how they're doing. So, Mark Nelly's up to an 86. Kai Havertz is 83. 89 Saka. Wow, that... Oh, no. What's happened? Why is our sub goalie in? What happened? Where's... Did they buy him? What happened? Wait, wait, wait. What? What? Where did... Where did David Raya go? The man just, like, disappeared. Where did he go? Dude, what? Where did he go? He just, like, disappeared. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, but apparently we've been playing with the wrong goalkeeper this whole time, so... Oh my goodness, that's good to know that we've been playing with the wrong goalkeeper, but now we've got our actual goalkeeper in, so that's good. Got all these players. So, I mean, actually, they're growing and being like, oh my goodness, Pedri's killing it. I know it doesn't matter that much, but just to see how our players are doing. So Martinelli 
has got 10 goals. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, Jesus has 7. Uh, Odegaard has 6. Uh, Odegaard's leading in assists. Um, and our goalkeeper is nowhere to be seen. So, okay, there's Bram Silly. Oh, wow, he's got one clean sheet in 11 games. So now there's only one thing left to do, sim to the end of the season, and we will see if we can win a trophy with this Arsenal team. I'm pretty confident. This has looked actually really solid, so we're going to sim to June 1st, and we will be back at the end of the season. Okay, we made it to June 15th, and oh my goodness, my inbox is blowing up, but there is one thing that's very bad. Look at the manager rating. Oh gosh, that is not good. That is not good. That can only mean bad things have happened, so... Let's just check the player stuff. Okay, Mark Nelly ended up being second. Saka came out of nowhere. Uh, Saka and Odegaard both were in first, second and third in goal scoring. Uh, let's just check out the team real quick. I mean, we're solid, guys. Like, we got a almost 90 rated midfield. That is really solid. We got a like, solid team all around them. Like, we're not bad. I don't understand, like, why our manager rating is so bad uh, but i'm a little scared to be quite honest so here we go all right so we're gonna work up from the bottom all right relegation zone we got sheffield brighton and luton town wow brighton's relegated that's not good uh crystal palace then bournemouth brentford then fulham everton then burnley nine forest west ham okay we made top 10 wolves newcastle aston villa okay liverpool okay we made top five united Spurs, we're top four. Chelsea, top two. Man City, yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. We won the Premier League, guys. Let's go. We won the Premier League. We've done it. Yes. 85 points, five losses, seven draws, 26 wins. That is what you want to see. Boom. All right, that is a good start. So that's our first trophy. Obviously, we won the Community Shield, so we're up to two. Okay, so round three. So we tied Bristol, so we got the replay. We beat them, okay. Round four. Where where are we? Hello? Okay, there we are. Okay, we beat Brentford. Round five. Beat Chelsea. Round six. Beat Preston. Semi-finals. Beat Aston Villa. Finals. Yeah! We beat him wow. again! Yes! That's the trouble! We got a trouble, guys! We got a trouble! Okay, let's just see if we can keep cooking. Care about Cup up next. Okay, and we may have just absolutely gotten murdered. Newcastle, you beat us 4 2 on penalties. I guess there's. I guess we asked too much of this Arsenal team. They couldn't win anymore. Alright, well, we got knocked out really early in the Care about Cup. Let's see about the Champions League. Okay, so we know this. All right, get the dramatic music out. So Arsenal, they got top of their group, no losses, no draws, 18 points into the round of 16. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Four, oh, my goodness, Latium killed us. And then they got killed. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? 4 0? 4 0 on aggregate? That is insane. And then. Oh, goodness. Okay, Real Madrid won, so. There's not much we can do about that, but. Alright, let's not overshadow what all the good we've done. We have taken this Arsenal team and we have done all the things they've wanted to do for years. We've won three trophies. We've won the FA Cup, the Premier League, and the Community Shield, if you can even count the Community Shield. But we have done a great job. We have taken this team from a decent team and we have turned them into European beasts. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you love the video, why don't you smash that like button? And if you love the video, why don't you subscribe so you can see more FC24 and more FC Zelda. Next career mode challenge? I don't know. We'll have to see what team's up next, but stay tuned for more teams. And you never know, if you're lucky, we'll play with your team. So thanks for watching, guys.